Hey guys, what's up? Real Life Legend here, and today we're back on Battlefield 1. This is my medic class setup. I thought I'd show y'all. Hopefully it helps y'all out. I didn't start using the medic class till like a couple days ago. I usually use the assault class because it has fully automatic weapons. This is kind of automatic, but it's not the same, so I still try and stick to the assault class, but whenever I use a medic, this is the setup I usually use. Well guys, the rifle that I'm using right now, it's personally my favorite uh, single shot or fully automatic rifle. It is the C Rigotti. There's multiple versions of it that they have, but I like to stick to the factory kind. Because, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. But, uh, yeah. It's very good for taking out long-range enemies. Uh, I would recommend not going up against more than, like, maybe two people. Because you're not going to be able to have enough ammo to actually go up against all of them. As you'll see in a second, I tried to, and... It didn't work out very well, as you can see. But yes, this weapon's very good for taking out multiple enemies relatively quickly. I'd try and stay at a longer distance. My connection wasn't very good during this game, but I thought I'd... I thought I'd show y'all how I use my medic stuff but yes this rifle it's very effective to use especially in a long range battle I would not recommend trying to go up close and personal with this weapon unless you're like a beast then you can do so but I just try and stick it a longer distance if you're not that experienced or you're not very good with this weapon. <coughs> it seems to be working out pretty well for me, so just whatever y'all feel. Y'all don't have to use the same rifle I use, but I would recommend it. But the next thing that we're going to be going over is reviving other players. This is what the medic class is going about, is actually reviving people. I, it kind of took me a second to figure it out, because this is like, I'm pretty sure that was my first game ever using it. But yeah, just got to play around with it a little bit, but yes, the medic class is mainly for reviving people. If you like to play defensively and try and help out people. I didn't know where that guy was. But if you like to help out and play defensively and stay back a little bit so you can try and revive players that go down, this is the class for you. Sometimes I don't like, and it depends on the game mode, sometimes I don't like to go rush everybody. Sometimes I actually like to play defensively so I'll use the medic class or the support class so I don't have to get up into people's faces so it just depends on your mood if you wanna be aggressive that day use assault class or any other class you feel is necessary but for defensive gameplay I would use the medic especially in conquest conquest this is probably like your best bet of living is if you use a medic. Also you can re heal yourself. I'll go over that in a couple minutes but but I try and stick to the buildings if I, I was y'all. That's just me. If you're like using the scout class or the medic class I would try and stick to the buildings 
or right next to players if you're using the medic. Because long, long range weapons do very well if you're sitting up in a building trying to snipe out people. Especially the scout class because it has sniper rifles mostly. But you can revive, you, you can heal yourself with the medical crate. It's probably my favorite one to use because it gives you more health whenever you lay it down, or other players more health. That's how you, if somebody's not dead, you can just lay it down and they can get it. And they'll, their health will increase a lot faster than using something else. But, uh, I'm personally liking this class. Uh, it ain't very good for up close and personal stuff. That's why I like to use my automatic weapons. Uh, the rifle that I'm using right now, it has a single shot and a automatic option. I like to use a single shot most of the time, but automatic's pretty good. It ain't as fast as like a submachine gun or something like that. But it's, I like it. If you have a big crowd going on, like if there's a bunch of people in your area, I turn on the automatic setting so you can lay down the heat. But, uh, y'all should leave down in the comments what y'all want me to do for my next video for Battlefield. If y'all are following me for my Battlefield gameplay, or if you just like to watch both or all my gameplays, tell me what video that y'all liked me to do next. I'm going to be coming out with my next monster. Okay, I thought that guy was alive, but I'm going to be coming out with my next Monster Hunter weapon tutorial. Hopefully by Saturday. If not, it'll be Saturday afternoon. So keep stay tuned for that. But the next thing that we're going to be going over is the medical syringe. The medical syringe is what you actually use to revive players. If you have never used the medic class, that's what you use to actually revive players. You've probably seen me use it a couple times during this gameplay. It's you have to be kind of on top of them to actually even have it to work. Uh, it ain't like the medical crate where you can just throw it down and they can grab what they need and leave but you actually have to be like right on top of them to do it or it won't work and also if they leave the area you have to I would keep an eye out for the crossbones that is over their heads because that means that if it's not there they left the area already or are respawning so just keep an eye out for that uh, there's a couple times where I died whenever I thought he was alive but he wasn't, and I kind of kept stabbing him, trying to make him wake up. Just like, wake up! I'm not letting you die. And then I die, and he's already alive. So don't don't do stupid stuff. <laughs> but well, guys, this is nearing the end of my video. I hope y'all liked it. Don't forget to let me know what y'all want me to do in, in the next couple videos. Also, I hope this helped y'all out in some way or form. But I go ham on this last part. But I hope y'all liked it. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Peace out.